Now, I'm interested in why it is that dyslexics have these uh, exceptional talents. What is it in the brain that allows them to have these talents? And this is still a theory, but I think more and more people are becoming to believe it. Uh, dyslexia wouldn't be so common if it didn't carry advantages. And what I'm interested in is why does it carry these advantages? What's the brain um, change or difference that makes dyslexics so good at holistic visuospatial pro processing? And the argument, although it's not proven, it seems highly likely, is that it is a result of the, as it were, the relative weakness of the dyslexics left hemisphere. What happens to most of us during um, schooling is that the left hemisphere, which happens to be slightly advantageous at timing things, um, is, becomes more and more specialised at linear sequencing. So it starts off with auditory sequencing. If I say the word dog, what happens is the uh, left hemisphere can parse it into d, uh, g, and that um, is something that is essential, if you, that's called phonology. It's essential um, if you're going to match the, those sounds with the letters, D-O-G. And so the left hemisphere becomes specialised at this sort of linear kind of sequencing, as opposed to holistic kind of uh, approaches, which the right hemisphere is good at. And that means that during normal education, uh, non-dyslexics get only the right hemisphere specialised for this holistic activity, but the left hemisphere is now specialised for this linear kind of sequencing. And that linear sequencing, by the way, is not um, a natural kind of thing, because in the wild, um, the, uh, the world doesn't have linear sequencing. You have trees that are more or less symmetrical, you have bushes that are more or less symmetrical. It doesn't matter which side the, um, the, the, the stalk of a tree is, but it does matter which side the stalk of an A is or an O, or a Q versus a P. And so you have to train the left hemisphere to do all this um, uh, linear sequencing. And what that does is force out of the left hemisphere its ability to do holistic kinds of processing. So the advantage that dyslexics have is a consequence of the fact that they um, don't do that specialization so much. And so the left hemisphere is still quite good at visuospatial processing. So they have both hemispheres to do it, rather than only one, and that's why they turn out to be such good artists, etc.